In this video, I want to show you how to calculate the limit of a polynomial. When plugging in the value, we get a 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate case. Let's look at this question. Here, we want to calculate the limit of this function as t goes to 4. The first step is always plugging in t equals 4 into your function. After plugging in the value, if we get a real number, then that would be our limit. However, in this case, we have 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. Therefore, we need to try other method. For this type of question, the second step is to factor out the top and bottom and cancel out the common terms. After factoring out the function, we can cancel out t minus 4, both on the top and the bottom. That leaves us with t plus 2. And after that, we can plug in t equals 4. And then we got 6, which is a real number. And that will be our answer to this question. If you have learned derivative, there is another way to solve this question as well. Let me show you. The L'Hopital's rule states that if we get an indeterminate form such as 0 over 0, we can take the derivative both on the top and on the bottom and then plug in the value to calculate the final answer. Please note, in here we want to take the derivative on the top and the bottom separately. This is different from quotient rule. In here, we take the derivative of the top, which is 2t minus 2, and derivative on the bottom, which is equal to 1. Therefore, our limit is also the same as 2t minus 2 as we plug in t equals 4. Then we plug in t equals 4, we get the answer 6, which is the same as our answer above. So now you have learned how to calculate the limit of a polynomial. You first plug in the value to your original function, and if you get 0 over 0, try to factor out the common terms first. And once you do that, you should be able to plug in your t value or x value and other questions and get a real number. And that number is your answer. If you have learned the derivatives, you can also use L'Hopital rule, which you take the derivative on both the top and the bottom, and then plug in your t value. 
and for both method you should get exactly the same number that's a verify that you get the correct answer